Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm known in the street, and I am either about to blow your mind or you're about to insult me. Alright guys, last minute video here. It is Monday night, the last day of my school's four day weekend, and uh, I am really excited about this. Um, I really am very excited to start this series. Alright guys, I am starting a new project. I'm calling it the Life on Linux project. And today I booted into Linux and um, I installed a Windows 7 virtual machine. Tried to run Minecraft in it because I uh, got really excited about, hey, I'm going to start using Linux again because I used to be a huge Linux user with my laptop. And then I got my uh, desktop computer, I got a little bit into gaming. And then I just kind of left it at Windows and didn't really boot into my Linux distro except for, like, recovery purposes. Um, and I have had Ubuntu installed, which isn't even my favorite Linux distro. I prefer uh, Red Hat, or not Red Hat specifically, but RPM-based distributions. It's just a different package management system. But um, anyways, so I'm in Linux, and I'm, like, trying to get all of this stuff working in the Windows virtual machine. It won't work. And then I just kind of accepted defeat. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to have to use Windows now. And then I uh, thought about it for about an hour, and I thought, you know what? That is really stupid. That is why, uh, starting next weekend, I am going to try to go for... The arbitrary time limit that I've come up for myself is until summer vacation, because I am in school right now. So, uh, yes, last night... At 11.58 p.m., I realized there was a $20 sale on a 2TB Seagate hard drive, and um, I ordered it. So yeah, it'll be coming in by next weekend. Hopefully, I'm going to install it on camera next weekend for you, right before me and my cousin Adam, a.k.a. Heated Wonder, are starting our new Minecraft series, Retrocraft. And basically, before we start that series, um, after I install the drive, what I'm going to do is I am going to... Clean install, OpenSUSE, um, 12 point, I, I think 12.2, um, because 12.3, ah, 22 days away, OpenSUSE 12.3, so I'll upgrade when it gets here, but I will be installing OpenSUSE 12.2, um, yeah, next weekend, uh, on, not on the hard drive, um, let's see, after I get the hard drive, I will have a 32 gigabyte hard drive, a 128 gigabyte, no, 32 gigabyte SSD, Hang on, let me think about this. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, and I just came up with this in my head, like, while the camera was going. Um, this is way different from any plans I've had in the past, because uh, I've already always envisioned Windows 7 being in my plans, but I think I'm going to take Windows 7 out. Uh, I'm going to install OpenSUSE 12.2 on my 128GB SSD. Um, I'm going to put the... Um, user partition of that installation on the 2 terabyte hard drive and um, then I'm going to use the 32 terabyte 32 terabyte uh, I wish 32 gigabyte SSD um, for an emergency Windows XP installation and you know I just now decided forget Windows 7 I'm going to do Windows XP because um, I mean yeah that'll just reinforce the whole you're not using uh, mainstream version of Windows this entire time you're doing this. So yeah, what am I going to have to do? I'm going to have to figure out how to get my games running on Linux, my uh, recording software running on Linux, my editing software running on Linux, and actually I'm not even getting them to run on Linux. I'm not using Wine because I've used Wine before and Wine sucks. Um, I, I'm going to try not to use Windows XP for anything uh, the entire time, and uh, well, yeah, I'm going to try and find Linux alternatives to all of my software, which, you know, some of that it'll be easy, some of it it won't be very easy. Um, I will be running in KDE because I just haven't used KDE in a while, and I miss uh, an interface that was actually designed for this thing instead of a touchscreen. So, yeah, I will be using KDE and, yeah, Life on Linux for 12 or 13 weeks, I think it's... 12 weeks of school plus one week of spring break, about 13 weeks, yeah. Um, so yeah, I will have uh, the same installation of Linux on my computer the entire time. I'm going to try not to reinstall just because it'll be a hassle. 
Um, but yeah, I know I haven't been on Windows 8 for that long, and I really do enjoy Windows 8, but I just, I realize I used to be such a Linux, like, hardcore Linux guy, and then I just kind of stopped using Linux when I started playing, uh, Minecraft. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, really unfortunate, but yeah, like I said, I will be finding Linux alternatives to all of my daily needs, and I will be running, um, yeah, Linux, and only Linux, um, for, yeah, 13 weeks. And I will be documenting the entire thing, of course, for you guys. So, yeah, um, sorry I don't have very much, uh, detail, but this seriously was an impulse thing. Like, it's, yeah, 7 o'clock at night, and I just, like, got the idea in my head, didn't really give it much thought, turned the camera on, but I already recorded the video, and I really do want to get back into using Linux. So, yeah, I will be doing this. I'm going to make myself uh, do this. And, yeah, I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm in the street. Oh, one more thing. If you do uh, want to see that um, retro craft uh, series, then the first, we'll be shooting the first episode, hopefully on Friday, uh, assuming that the hard drive gets there on or before Friday. Um, but, yeah, if you do want to see that, head on over to my entertainment channel, youtube.com slash jacobjkau. And uh, it will be uploaded by probably Saturday or Sunday. You know, it should be, it will be uploaded by Sunday. I'm not sure if we're recording it Saturday or Friday. Um, so, yeah, but if you do want to check that out, then that's on that channel. And then I guess if I'm going away from Windows 8, I'll have to make a little video about that, too. So, yeah, I guess I'll do that. And, uh, yeah, so stay tuned. I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm there in the street, and I will see you later. Bye.